Hello everybody. It's been a while since I've done an update video on the truck. Uh, for new viewers, this is a 2020 Ram 2500. It's got about 26,000 miles on it. Um, a lot of people have been asking for an update video on the entire truck. I am waiting on some other components from different companies. Uh, I'm going to be test fitting some components for some companies as well. I'm also going to be replacing a recall component aftermarket on this truck. I'll go over a whole separate video on that and do some test fitting for that company. Uh, but once I get all that stuff, I will be doing a late fall, early winter, depending on if all the stuff comes in, uh, update video. This video is specifically for a new product dropping from Hot Shot Secret. Uh, I was running 95, 98% of their products. Uh, they didn't have one that I really liked uh, at all for what I was needing it for. But now that they have something that's going to be readily available, uh, I'm definitely going to be running exclusively Hot Shot Secret um, additives. Oil is going to be AMS oil, obviously. For the oil, I am running the FR3 uh, uh, friction reducer uh, for the oil additive. And then once I get some more miles on the truck, I'm actually going to start putting some uh, stiction eliminator in there just so that way everything is running uh, tip-top shape. When I had the CP4, I was running the LX4 Lubricity Extreme and then the EDT, every other fill-up. I was kind of going back and forth. If you've kept up with the channel, you'll know that I did go with the SNS CP3 conversion. I do still run um, EDT. I still run that. Uh, if I get LX4, I will put that in as well. But mostly I'm running EDT. So coming to the product that we're actually, that's dropping on September 30th. So if you're watching this video after that, this product is available. Uh, discount code at hotshotsecret.com in the uh, link below. I will post that. This product right here, EDT plus winter defense. So not only does it have all of the stuff that EDT has, it also has anti-gel properties. Um, and I believe it says somewhere it, it prevents fuel down to negative 40 degrees. So it has everything that EDT has in it plus anti-gel. Uh, I'm not 100% sure if the, the straight anti-gel had any other properties in it but it does seem a little bit thicker than the competition because there is a little bit more uh, product in here. Here's on the side, so I was correct. It is reduces fuel line, frees up down to negative 40. Increased fuel economy from the EDT. Um, I can personally vouch for that. Uh, it's a big, huge mega cab truck, bunch of crap in the back. I got 550 to 600 pounds over the rear axle in sandbag ballasts for the winter as well as the spare tire. I actually took the spare tire from down here and just put it in the bed for a while. I was thinking of doing a train horn kit, but that's in there. You got my body weight. Um, I'm getting about 21 to 22 miles to the gallon just tooling around between freeway and city. Um, that is gonna be very driver dependent. Uh, I coast as much as I can. Uh, I try to be very light on the throttle, but this thing definitely does help with fuel efficiency. It has powerful uh, cetane boosters and it cleans the injectors and then it reduces uh, the need for DPF regeneration cycles if you have one of those. Um, this guy does have a 250 plus horsepower tune. I very rarely, if ever, run it. When I do and I really get on it, there is minimal soot out the tailpipe, so that is very nice. 100% money back guarantee. And then here's all of like the doses. They do have two, two doses. You can do just a regular dose or you can do a performance dose, um, which is again, required below zero degrees and then above zero degrees. So something that I really like about them is they offer you options. So they did give me four of these, which one of these treats up to hundred gallons. And then one of these treats up to 400 gallons. And this is 32 ounces. Now the competition right here, um, this is only anti-gel. It does not have any of the EDT properties in it, with the exception of the uh, slick diesel lubricator. Um, in terms of price, I believe these are pretty much identical price. However, this one uh, offers way more additives that will help the longevity of your engine. And this guy treats up to 400 gallons for the same price. 
while this guy only treats up to 100 gallons. So once this is gone, uh, I'm not gonna be using that anymore. I will be exclusively running Hot Shot Secret. I absolutely love the company. Um, I haven't had any complaints or anything. Uh, they're just absolutely great. I love all their products and uh, I would definitely recommend trying this out. And then, like they say, it does have a 100% money back guarantee. If you don't like it, get your money back and then you know go back to whatever other brand you'd like. But for the guys in the northern climates, um, this is pretty much the one-stop shop for winter additives because it contains all of the EDT stuff in it. So you're still going to get all of those properties um, in one bottle. So again, this does release uh, September 30th. If you're watching it after that, um, there is going to be a uh, affiliate link in the description below. I think it's like 5 or 10% off with my code, and it does help out the channel. So if you're there, uh, browse the website, see if you like the product, see if you have anything that interests you. If you are still running a diesel with a uh, CP4 high-pressure fuel pump, I highly, highly recommend the LX4 uh, Lubricity Extreme. And... Uh, in conjunction with a, you probably can't even see it, a fast lift pump that will keep the pump completely fueled and lubricated so that way you don't have any scoring on the rollers and then eventually a catastrophic failure. So if you want to keep up to date on more of the truck videos, please consider subscribing to the channel and then also be sure to check out all the affiliate links in the description below. I will be doing another update here in the late fall, early winter, depending on if I get some of those components. And then if not, um, I probably will still go ahead and just give you guys an update. Uh, just a little teaser. I do believe I am going to be removing the 35% tint on the windshield and I'm probably going to go 5%. Um, I do have 5% over factory on the rears, and then I've got 5% over 15. And as you can see, you can still see in there, and that's solely because of the windshield. The windshield's 35%. Uh, you can still kind of make out uh, who's in there. So I wanted to uh, address that. So there's a little sneak peek of the upcoming update video. Like always, thanks for watching, and have a great day.